Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 2 of the X4 Ultimate Beginner's Guide for 4.0. Today we're going to be going through how to get your money going. What? You can go. Okay, so I've been scanned for some odd reason, but never mind. So yeah, so I'll, I want to show you a easy way to find stuff. Okay, the police are constantly scanning us. There we go. Right, there we go. That stops right. So... For us to be able to do it a little bit easier, what we're going to do today is we're going to get ourselves a captain so they'll fly around for us. Whilst you can do whatever you want, make yourself a brew or something like that. Either way, he's going to do a bit of a search because if you want to fly, you can fly around on your own. But if you want to fly around on your own, it's going to take you a while to do it. Um, and it means you have to stay with the game and obviously carry it through. We don't want to do that. We want someone else to do it for us. So first thing we're going to do is we need to request docking permission. But we're too far away at the moment because obviously we jettisoned out so we can get all the crap. So... Let's go and set, show ourselves in. So we'll just do a bit of a boost. You can also, which I won't do right now because I'm about to launch into the... There we go. You can boost. And then if you go to travel mode, you'll actually maintain some of your speed. Just a little bit of a tip there. Right. Let's request docking permission. Where's our enter key? There we go. And I'd give you a little little green line so you know where you're going. Now, since you've only got a dock computer mark one as standard, you may not even have that. It's a little bit tricky to dock, so we'll go through how to sort it out. Now bring yourself in nice. You can bring yourself in nice and quickly because as soon as you go over this threshold, it slows you down. Line yourself up with your image. Pull yourself back down. Okay, so. You have the line here, which is kind of the your the roll and pitch even the roll. You got your pitch, and then you got your height and direction. So there's your height. So you see the little V that comes down when the V meets the other V at the bottom there. Let me let's just uh, turn off my travel. Uh, my uh, there we go. And then you've got this little bar here. You see the little bar's got arrows there. That directs you to the center there. The last one is basically a height indicator. So if we drop down, oh, sorry, not height indicator, sorry, di distance indicator. That's the word I was looking for. There's your height indicator. And then bring ourselves, there we go. You see, it's just coming in nice and closely. Nice and closely, nice and close. And a clean dock. Successfully docked. We can get up or we can press control and D. And you're now back on the station we started from. Next thing we want to do is go up to this person here. We want to talk to them. Hello. And you want to hire them. You want to click on your ship. And you want to click on... Right click. Select. Selected workspace is your elite vanguard. You want them as a captain. Now. This is the key thing we want to do. The higher fee... Is 763,000. You might find some a little bit cheaper. But you're probably going to be looking at some like that. So we now know how much we're going to need. So that's our aim for the first one. You can go around the station. Let's say you want to go to... I don't know. Uh, Trailer's Corner. Let's see if we can find somebody. You're the trader, so you're not going to work for us. Uh, oh, there's another person there. Can't jump over the glass, apparently. Is this just a... That's annoying. The dead end. This is the one I wanted. We went on the wrong side. That's a nice ship, isn't it? I like that, that design. Hello. So again, higher 3,000. Oh, wow, they are overpriced. Okay, so we can actually manage to get one. I thought well, they were actually a little bit more priced. So then we go to captain. We can Thanks hire. For hiring me. I really appreciate it. Okay, excellent. Right. Got ourselves a captain. I really like that design. Pretty cool ships. Anyway, shift D takes us back to our ship. Elite Vanguard. So now you've got two choices. You can stay on the station or you can go on the ship. I tend to go on the ship because it's a bit of fun. But now that our ship has a captain... 
we can give them some orders. If you press control, your cursor changes to the double lines here, the double arrows. You can set up markers like so. You bring them around like so. And that's this is what I tend to do. There we go. Our captain in the background though, just getting back into the seat. There we go. And then all you do is if you've been inside the ship and taken over the ship or anything like that, then it'll hold. It'll wait for a few moments and then it'll take off. To override that, if you right click, you want to go to proceed with current orders and it'll crack on. The ship will now take off and it will fly of its own accord. AI control is something left to be desired, but it will manage it over time. Uh, it's a little dodgy about getting in and out, but it'll make it. So that ship is now going to travel around on your predetermined plan. And to see that predetermined plan again, you just click on the ship and it comes up with your predetermined plan. You can now give it orders as well, so you can tell it to fly and wait, explore, update trade offers, collect any drops, or attack targets in range. You also, as standard, get five satellites, five nav, five nav beacons, and five resource probes. Don't worry about them at the moment, we'll deal with them at a later stage. Right now, what we're looking for is an asteroid field. That's all we need, and then we'll come to part two of earning some money. Welcome back, everybody. And as you can see, we're now in the middle of, of an asteroid field. For intents and purposes, on the map, that looks like an area like this. You'll also get them um, where they're a single color as well. Uh, you got a red and a blue. You want the red color there. Find one here. Spoiler alert. When you play 4.0 yourself, this will be in this area. So it's a good area to go to. Okay, so now that we're in an asteroid, what is it we're actually looking for? Not being inside the asteroid for a start. If you ever get stuck inside the asteroid, as you've just seen me do there, just uh, boost yourself out of it. I'm not sure why we clipped into it there. Right, so what you want to do is you want to basically place the sun in the system against the asteroids. And if you look around, you'll see there's little blitz of glint, glint like glimmering lights and stuff like that. You'll see, I think there might be one there. There's one there, right there. You see it flickering and one there. This is what you're looking for. So if you head on over to whichever one is flickering now 4.0 has made it a little bit harder for mining uh, there's not as much materials as far as where we're in the update now these asteroids do move around so the uh, the, the object you're looking for will disappear but once you found the asteroid it is that you had blinking you'll find crystals these little crystals here same as in 3.3 .3. all you need to do is if you get in nice and close you want to drop yourself like so, if you press zero, uh, oh, sorry. It will hover around you like an idiot before you collect it. If it just keeps going around you like crazy, just give it a second. And there you go. Now what you want to do is you want to take all the crystal that's available on this asteroid. Now let's just find the rest of it. There we go, plenty of crystals for us there. Okay, right. If you would like to go into the black market, as you've just seen there, you get materials for the black market trader. However, right now we don't want to. So, the easiest way to get your inventory is just basically press your M key, and then you want to go to your player information. And then you want to go to your inventory, like so. Straight away, unstable crystals. And agrolite crystals are the ones we got. The illegal item is only illegal in certain areas. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes they're illegal in all areas. But they are illegal in at least one area. And it's in an orange colour. So what you want to do. Is you want to drop the item. Unstable crystal. Two. Uh, you can drop it without the lockbox. Or with a lockbox. Uh, we'll just drop it without a lockbox for now. So we got ourselves some agrolite crystal. So we've got 255,000 credits from just 17 crystals. That's probably not going to be enough for a ship. And obviously we're aiming to get a ship so that we can do a little bit more without having to do anything ourselves. 
So what you want to do is you want to go around and you want to carry on looking around. There's another one there. When you get a nice asteroid field like this, you get plenty of these crystals in on the area. Oh, that's a nice purple one there. They are color coded. Oh, I crashed into the asteroid. Look. Each crystal does have a color code and a value assigned to it. Let's go ahead and... If we can just gather the ones that are shooting off everywhere. Bandanite crystals. Okay, right. The rotation of the asteroid makes it a little bit harder to deal with this. There we go. Oh, plenty there. Press O, collect them all. We've got ourselves another unstable crystal. Right, let's just get out of the way of that asteroid so we don't land ourselves in it again. Try not to shoot the asteroid itself because they can get blown up, um, which you don't want. Go, let's go back to our inventory. Unstable crystal, we'll drop that item again. Our lockbox. Now, the Bandanite crystal is not worth as much. Uh, obviously, you can see value for value. They're only a thousand, uh, whereas the Acolyte crystal is 15,000. So you can go around looking for the specific color, but you may as well collect all of the colors. We're actually inside the asteroid again annoying there we go boost our way out of the asteroid so you want to go around and do that and find yourself as much as you want until you've got enough cash there's no right or wrong answer to the amount of cash but you're definitely going to need i generally say about 500k if you want to make a nice ship um but if you want to go and build a couple of them then obviously get yourself a few more it's not that hard you've just seen there took a couple of minutes and we've got ourselves enough credits right so that's going to be us for this episode let me know in the comment section if you've got any questions suggestions ideas next episode we're going to be looking at actually getting that ship and seeing how much money you actually need and obviously selling our crystals to sell your crystals if you want to do it before you get to the next episode head to the equipment dock you can sell it there as well matter of fact we'll set our Oh, no, we need to get up. So let's just get ourselves up. Control D. And all you need to do is select your elite pilot. Make sure you clear everything that they've got. So remove all orders. Hello there. You want to set them to dock and wait. And then we'll come to selling it on the next episode. And we should hopefully be able to buy ourselves a ship from the shipyard that we can see here. As I said, that's going to be it for this episode. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like to uh, ask any questions or anything like that. But until next time, everybody, take care for now. See you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.